Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sonner here with head men's soccer coach Micah Mindorf. Coach, the teams fought all year and it really came true and paid off on Sunday. A 1-0 win over Rockford that was one of the most gritty wins is a great way to put it, I think, that I've seen in my time here at Concordia. Yeah, the guys really fought through. Uh, Rockford is, they're, they're a good team. Jeremy Van out there has done a really good job with the players he has. They're, they're organized, they fight hard, they, they, they do all the little things correctly. Uh, so we know, knew going into it that it, it would be a good, hard-fought match and that we needed to really concentrate on our own play and our level of play uh, and really fine-tune what we wanted to do in the attack. I think we opened the play up in the first probably 10, 15 minutes, uh, forced them to defend, created a lot of really good opportunities. Uh, so I was really pleased with the effort, really pleased with what I saw. Um, and that kind of falls in lines with, with what we talked about last week where I think we're starting now to play some really good soccer. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the results that we wanted early on, uh, so we're, our, I think our egos were hurt a little bit. Uh, but now, as we're developing, we have consistency in our starting lineup. We have all of our injured kids back, uh, so we're in a really good spot going forward. And I think a big part of that game is the formation held true in the back line, mm -hmm. which is a lot, especially late in that game. Rockford came on hard late. They needed that goal to really to tie things up against you guys. But that defense hold, held formation. There was a lot of talking. There was a lot of communication. And that's the most that we've seen in, out of this team this year. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, the guys um, coaching males, we, we need val validation for the effort that we put into things. So when we, put in the, when we were put in those situations, being up 1-0, uh, the guys finally saw, well, we can do this. You know, so there is almost a collective sigh of relief. And then everything started clicking from there. I thought uh, Edwin Regalado on his senior night, I thought he did an outstanding job really taking control of that back line. And then his center back partner, uh, Danny Krajewski, uh, did exceptionally well, uh, where he, he's a good player. We've had him in a variety of positions, but I think now going forward, we've really found a home for him as a center back. Uh, so we have a really solid backbone of our team going down the middle of the field. Uh, and our results are showing where we're starting to now like I said earlier, really play some really good soccer and do some good things, uh, both defending and attacking. And we can't lose the other senior, your two seniors. It was senior night for the Cougars. Roberto Aragon in goal made a couple just tremendous saves that kept that a one nothing game. And Rockford had some very good looks at certain points in that match that he took on head on. He's very, very aggressive cutting off mm -hmm. angles and didn't allow them to get a good look. Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, you know, the unfortunate thing about where we are, where we have to defend a little bit more than what we would like, we rely on uh, Eto to make those big saves for us. Uh, and he's come through consistently every single match where uh, I think he's one of the better goalkeepers in our conference. He's done an exceptional job with us, not just stopping shots, but organizing the defense in a way that prevents shots from happening. Uh, so he's kind of checking off all the boxes for me in terms of what a complete goalkeeper is. Um, and he even plays with his feet very well. So at the end of the day, I think it, the better definition of him is that he's just a good soccer player. Now we talk about moving ahead this week. You talked about the team needing kind of that assurance that they're doing things the right way. You have that now. Now I feel like training, everybody will have a little bit more pep in their step, getting ready for a tough Aurora team back here in, at Concordia, Chicago on Wednesday, and then heading up to rival Concordia, Wisconsin on Saturday. Yeah, it's a big week. Um, but I think now that after we got that first conference win under our belt, the guys now understand this is what we need to do every single day to be successful. You know, the little things, winning balls in the midfield, making sure we're, we're sure in our tackles, making sure we're connecting passes in, in transition. Uh, so we're doing all the right things. Now it becomes a, more of a mental game for us. Uh, three, the next three matches are against what I would consider three of the top four teams in our conference at this point. Uh, so it's going to be exciting, but I, I think I told you earlier in the year, CJ, when I recruit players in, I want players that are excited to rise up to these challenges. And I talk about that specifically in the process. Uh, so I fully expect these guys to come out ready to go uh, and do some really good things Wednesday and then going into Saturday against Concordia, Wisconsin. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys back out on the pitch. Cougars return to Concordia Stadium on Wednesday against Aurora before they head to Concordia, Wisconsin on Saturday. You can find all links at cucougars.com. For head coach Micah Mindorf, I'm CJ Sellner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.